Nate Weaver Tyler. So we are here at Philly's, which is a popular uh, place to eat. So we're going to go check out some of these bars just past Philly's and see how they are. Here we see Isle Town Luxury Kiosk Hotel. We see Choi Jang Gun Korean restaurant. So we'll walk past this street here, right next to the Queen's Hotel. Hey, right, so here we have Sky Tracks Super Club that most people like to go to. Very fun place if you want to dance. Here we have uh, Krabby's Corn and Crab. I don't know exactly what food that is. So here's the first bar we're going to. It's called Soya Bar from Dust Till Dawn. Uh, we're gonna check this out. As you can see, they got some food stands there if you're hungry to get something to eat. So let's go check this out. And above it's a uh, nightclub? I don't know. All right, so let's check out Soya. So right next to Club Soya is SS Bar. It looks more like a, I don't know, metal factory than a bar. So uh, <laughs> let's hope it's more of a bar than a metal factory. All right, Wayward we Trash, between uh, Club Soya and SS Bar is a nightclub called Eclipse. So I guess these doors will open up when the nightclub opens up. Okay, so I stand corrected. So this right here is the SS Bar, not that thing, that is Club Eclipse, and this is SS Bar's entrance right here. Alright, let's go see it. Next to SS Bar, which I could not go into because it doesn't open until six o'clock. But these bars are open. Ace Bar, it's a nice, pretty sign. Ace Bar right there. Right next to it Sugar, brown sugar bar right there, people. So brown sugar bar is right there. Hey, wait, we're trying. So just next to brown sugar is Camelot Club Camelot. It's new. It's only been around for about two weeks. It's back. It's no longer dead. It's alive. So come to Camelot to enjoy a club experience. All right, wait, we're trying. So we have another bar here called Insomnia Music Lounge. It doesn't seem to be open yet. It says 5 p.m. It's about 5.10 now. And over here we have... Another bar called Old Club Music Bar. Old Club Music Bar, if y'all want to hit that one. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So, what is my final impression of Phil Street Bars just past Walking Street? They're good bars. They're not bad bars. Uh, they have first shift and second shift. Um, always f um, figure out that there will be a hour period where the shifts change, so the, either the bar will be closed or there'll be no girls on stage. Uh, but most of the girls get bar fired. They're on first shift. They get bar fired really early. But why not? If it's all day, 
3,000, 4,000 pesos, bar fighting girl at 11 a.m., get to keep her all the way till the next morning, why not, right? Uh, have more fun time with her, get to know her. Who knows, maybe she's your next wife. I don't know. But uh, surprisingly, I'm gonna say right now, most of the bars are Korean, but surprisingly for me, the bar that surprised me the most was probably Insomnia Bar. It opens up at five, closes at 2 a.m. Uh, the happy hour drinks are only 85 pesos. After that, I think there was 110 pesos, and if not, look at the pictures that I left behind. And um, the bar fine is negotiable. So you know what that means? <laughs> if you're handsome, the bar fine's cheap. <laughs> if you're not that handsome, the bar fine's expensive. So once again, thank you for joining me on another episode of Wayward Travelers. Until next time, travel on, travel on, travelers.